So uh, today's a great day to be an American, isn't it? Yes. Because our constitutional aspirational values of freedom of religion and due process of law held, and today we're celebrating that. But you know, they don't always hold, right? And we learned in the last century that 262 million people around the world were killed in genocide because what human beings decided to do was to say that some people weren't fully human. And the arguments that they use every single time are boring and they're always the same. And they would be just boring if they weren't effective, but sometimes they are. And so when words get spoken about a group, collective blame applied to a group, words of fear spoken about a group, we are all vulnerable to that fear. We learned that in the last century. We learned it in this one as well. And so when words of fear began to be spoken, when dehumanizing language was used, when collective blame was applied, some people got frightened and couldn't quite hold on. But members of this community, especially our Muslim sisters and brothers here, held on to those aspirational values and maintain connection with the people in their community. Jewish neighbors and Christian neighbors and Sikh neighbors and Buddhist neighbors and atheist and agnostic neighbors came and stood beside them and stood behind them and held on to our aspirational constitutional values. City government and county government and leaders, Rick Larson and many other people stood up and held on to those aspirational values. And so today is a good day to be an American, but we must remember the words on the Constitution or any of our laws are just words on paper if we don't hold on to them. And so while today is a great day to be an American, because hate and fear and that terrible process of dehumanization has not worked today, we must remember that there is a tomorrow as well and that all of us here are called and must hold on to those aspirational constitutional values and stand with and for each other and keep hate at bay into the future so that tomorrow and next year can be a great day to be an American. Thank you. Yes.